The dragon winds between the two bears, like a river flowing on its course, seemingly enclosing the lesser bear in a coil of its body in such a way that it can be seen to almost touch its feet. Its head almost reaches the arctic circle. It has a star on each temple, on each eye, one on its chin, and ten distributed over the rest of its body. Draco is said to be the serpent that guarded the golden apples in Hera's garden. Accounts differ on the nature of this garden. Some say that Hera gifted them to Zeus at their wedding. Hyginus tells us that Pherocytes indicated that they were a gift to Hera from the Mother Earth during the wedding. Regardless, Atlas's daughters would sneak into the garden to steal the fruits, which is why Hera placed the dragon there. However, Eurystheus ordered Hercules to fetch a golden apple as one of the labors. Thus, Hercules traveled to the garden and slayed the dragon guarding it. As a reward for the defense the dragon had provided, Hera placed it in the heavens. In other accounts, the dragon was sent by the giants against Athena during a battle. Athena seized the writhing serpent and threw it into the sky, fixing it about the pole of the heavens. Want to know more of the mythology behind the classical constellations? Then make sure to subscribe for more, as I'll be going through them all.